Well, hey YouTube, it's Elvis Ambo here. Hey, today I'm going to be talking about the SV401. Lately, I've been playing around with budget uh, spotting scopes. I've uh, recently done a uh, review on the SV28, and um, and I uh, have been comparing to some other budget budget spotting scopes that are very popular, and um, this particular uh, scope spotting scope right here is the SV401, and I'm going to talk about what makes this one what makes this budget spotting scope stand out now if any of you guys don't know who, who uh, SV Boney is uh, they make telescopes binoculars and um, spotting scopes and telescope cameras and spotting scope cameras uh, the list goes on so they are not a fly-by-night company they've been around for a long time and um and and that is that so let's talk about what makes this spotting scope stand out but before we do if you would just give me a like and if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe to this channel and if you want to support me on patreon click the link below become a member we're giving stuff away over there including some of the stuff that you're seeing today so now so the SV401, all right? Now, uh, if you want to go back and look at the, uh, the review that I've done on this one, you'll see some of the features on this one, including the sunshade that's built in that this one doesn't have. We'll talk about that in a minute. And um, so, so this particular scope, for instance, is a 25 by 75 uh, zoom so you can zoom from 25 times to 75 times with a 70 millimeter objective lens all right that's very good and I really enjoyed it and I would recommend it to anyone so uh, with this one right here some of the particulars that makes this one stand out is for one it has a uh, a, a, a ocular lens adjustment right here for eye relief okay so that makes it kind of nice you know for your particular eye to uh, you know you can press your eye against this if you want that kind of thing and adjust that that's a really nice feature I enjoy that um, and uh, and the second thing that makes this one stand out is the ability to turn this in any position. So you loosen this and you turn this. You can hear it kind of clicking into place. It has little spots where it locks like that. Now what makes that special is if, for instance, you are uh, well it, it, it allows you to uh, to look uh, in my case I'll say it allows me to like if I'm at the range and I'm sitting on my rifle all right I can uh, make my shots and then without nothing to do I can just look over here at that target that I'm shooting at so I can make my shot and then just look over here at it. It's angled right in my face. So even if even if you had a, uh, a spotting scope, you know that had the uh, the straight feature on it, where the uh, instead of the angled eyepiece, um, you would have to leave your rifle and move over to it. Uh, that kind of thing. So that is what makes this one really special. So the other thing that makes it stand out, I guess I should say, is now this one is a, uh, a 20 power by 60 power instead of a 75 power like the SV28. But the uh, 80 millimeter objective lens 
allows us to collect a lot of light through here okay so the picture was obviously a little bit clearer and everyone that has looked through this I've had it for two or three weeks and everyone that has looked through this thought that it was um, better than they expected okay so I'll just say that um, and so you have your uh, you have your your crude adjustment here from 20 to 60 power and then you have your fine-tune knob right here you fine-tune it adjust it right into focus now for guys uh, shooting at the range for instance you know if you have those tiny little bullet holes down there you know at two or three hundred yards or whatever or even at a hundred yards they're hard to see with even binoculars sometimes so this right here will solve that problem um, no no issues at all I used it out to 300 okay so um so that that's that's my experience with it um now uh, uh one of the uh uh one of the uh, downfalls i guess if you want to call it that is um these things that we can hook our these little gadgets um that we can hook our smartphones up to and put them over the ocular lens and be able to see through our phone you know and at the uh, at the target this one the don't don't necessarily fit it's almost it's almost there um and uh, i will say this um, if i wanted to i could uh, i could do a little bit of uh, jimmying up here and make this fit on it okay but i just want to tell you that it did not fit like it does on um on the sv28 and on most of them and um and the reason why is probably because of this ocular lens with this eye relief adjustment on it they make it a little bit larger um for this build okay so that's uh that's what i'm guessing now they all come with these um this little uh tabletop uh, tripod which I really like I have no problems at all with it they tighten up nice and tight and you don't have to worry about this thing jiggling or wobbling and um, and you're able to adjust it up and down and um, and you loosen you loosen this you're able to to turn it anywhere that you want it and then with one little twist you can tighten that down to where it don't it don't jiggle all right it just don't jiggle uh, so no complaints with that at all so uh, so if you uh, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a link to I'm gonna put a link to uh, the SV28 I'm gonna put a link to the SV401 in there you can uh, you can click those links and remember when you go over there to eBay they usually have a code for a discount so plug make sure you look at that and plug that code in for that discount all right so I hope you enjoyed this video uh, I've been pretty excited I'm glad uh, SV Boney uh, has sent me these to uh, to look at and um, and I will be giving some of this away over on patreon if you want to become a member over there and I'll see you guys in the next video